And not just any young people, the best of the best. Each and every one of them has faced digital inequity and has turned that adversity into action. They are passionate about using the power of technology to change their lives and their community's lives for the better. They are the movers, they are the shakers, they are the action takers. So please join me in giving your biggest applause to our incredible speakers, our youth purposeful disruptors, Hope, Owen, Penny, Ramapo, Toei, and Manfred. <laughs> Vibin. This is your place. We're really happy to have you. Thank you so much for coming. So first of all, I'd like to introduce you to our first 15 members. You can tell because they've got caps. <laughs> our first speakers, Toe and Manfred from Te Whanganui Aotara. Toe and Manfred are Year 13 students at Bishop Via College in Porirua. And they are co-creators of Whaamalosi, Say It Right. Here's an overview of their journey so far, and then you'll hear from the boys themselves. Many of us have gone through life having the odd person uh, mispronounce our names. It may be easy to brush it off once, but listening to it constantly is a challenge for young people, for students. So 10 students from Bishop Viard College in Wellington have created a website designed to help people correctly pronounce Māori and Pacifica names. This is really cool. We really want to celebrate it this morning and steer you to it. The website name Whaamalosi, meaning be strong, has been up and running for just over two weeks and already has over 700 names available to listen to. Joining us now to share more details about this are the two CEOs behind the website, Bishop Viard College students. Growing up with a Pacifica name, it can be hard, especially at school. Michelle. Yes, sir. Like Michelle. Toe. They usually mispronounce it as toe or toy. Toe? Yeah, yeah, uh, so, toe? yeah. I was a bit embarrassed, especially when they mispronounced it in front of my friends. Toe, why didn't you answer me the first time? Uh, it's toy, sir. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, close enough, mate. If a teacher pronounces your name wrong, often kids might just look and kind of laugh and so that's something that the student who it happens to will remember. Talofo, my name is Toi Lukin. Talofo, my name is Memphis Sofar. And we are the creators of Fatmanos. A website that can help everyday people pronounce Maori and Pacific Islands names correctly. Fatmanos, say it right! Talofo, my name is Toi Lukin and I would like to share with you my story. I am proud of my name. It has been given to me as a gift by my parents and I carry my name with a lot of pride. I faced an ongoing problem that like many of my peers, teachers, people in general have mispronounced my name year after year in primary and secondary. Every year the same problem occurs. This attack has made me feel embarrassed. This is not only my problem, but a common problem of many of my peers. We are the kids that have created a national award winning business, Fat Maros. Say it right. Producing a website to help normalise the pronunciation of Maori and Pacifica names. We are the kids that will encourage others to take action and simply not just talk about it. We are the kids that challenge Osho's shield and fought to speak in our mother tongue in the origin section. We are the movers. We are the shakers. We are the island changers. So um, you can subscribe to our website at um, www.fatmanossi.com. Um, it has a subscription fee of $4.99. As soon as you've um, subscribed, you have unlimited access to what we have on our website. So you can search any name from our database. We have six cultures on our website at the moment. We have Te Reo Māori, we have Samoa, we have Tokelau, Tonga, um, Kiribati and Cook Island. Like um, John said, we have, over, we have over 800 names now. Um, and we're looking to increase this as we add more to it. You can listen and learn from our community and also use the phonetic um, wording that we've also added to help you further. If you'd love to have your name on our website and 
you might have a different pronunciation to, to a name, you can send this through us, our upload page on our website, and we'll get this uploaded for you as soon as possible. Tell us how people mispronounce your name, and tell us how you say it. We'll go first. People mispronounce it as to, but it's actually to it. Uh, you can break it down phonetically as to it, so T O H, and then D H. So, people often mispronounce my last name as Tate, but it's actually pronounced as Abu. Uh, people commonly mistake my name as Isako, but in reality it is Isako. Māori and Pacifica names have rich meaning. It's important that we pronounce them correctly. My advice is ask or check out our website at www.farmalosu.com. Get into another icebreaker. Yes. Uh, this is a common one in, in the Pacific Islands. So, mini. So when I say mini, you rub. And when I say butsia, you clap. Butsia. Butsia. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh, so when I say hey, hey, you say ho. Hey, hey. Ho. Oh. Hey, hey. Ho. Oh. 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 Kia ora. Kia ora koutou. Nga mana, nga reo, nga karangatanga maha. Tēnā tātou katoa. Nga mi inui ki a koutou mō te tautoko, mō tātou rangatahi, o Aotearoa. Mm. Whātaro whātou le paia, marima maru le au whia, o potupotu mai ele nei asu ma tungo whie. Ve ia le tua soi fua, wā uria mai ele nei asu ma nuia, a wā ole nei whāmoe moe, sa whā wāo whā pō. A le o tātou sa ngā iai inu mō nuku ai le o tōnu. Ona ole a rofa mle ngā leo le tua soi fua. A roi ngoa mea fso whāra, O te sao mare nuo wa wailutai, wai tele, tua na i upon, ia, no pori lua i wa nuutoni. E bala maa, a ele e bala up. Even stones are run away, but words will never decay. Our Māori and Pasifika community carry the legacy of the finest innovators, navigators, orators, and environmentalists that the world has ever seen. We carry the legacy of some of the most resourceful and the most literate people the world has ever known. We treasure and acknowledge the love and the gifts that our families bring into our homes. Both Toa and I have been born up, brought up with strong Samoan values, rituals, history. We both live in a household of nine each of our homes. We are deeply aware of the sacrifices, prejudices, struggles, that our families have faced while living in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Learning the importance of helping others first, Manakita, is a value that has been ingrained in both of us. We have both been brought up with high expectations, which has contributed to our work ethic, and in turn, we willingly contribute to the household to help our families, our ai. Daily chores are an expectation. We call them fi'aus, Looking after our grandparents is an honor. Family, Aina, a wider community will always come first. The resilience and knowledge of our families motivates us to be, to have courage. Fatmarosi meaning strength, to stand up and reclaim respect for our to our names, for our Aina, family, and our wider community. Honoring our official language, Te Reo Māori, our, brother, our brothers, and sisters, Māori and Pasifika names carry mana and links are made to our land, whenua, genealogy, whakapapa, and one's culture. As you know, my name is Tori Lokin, and this is not only my story, but a common story of many of our people. It is not uncommon to hear stories of our people and those of other backgrounds change their names to make it easier for others. The meaning, legacy, and richness that exists within our names has been eroded with every teacher, or person of influence that has found it too hard to pronounce our names. Our names are an important part of our identity. Names carry deep, personal, cultural, family, and historical connections. They also give us a sense of who we are, our iwi or village, our community, where we come from, and our place in the world. The ripple effects of not pronouncing our names correctly has an impact on all cultures. First of all, how communities start to see themselves but also the effect this has on cultures externally, how people perceive other cultures. When you pronounce a name properly, 
you're sending a message that the person and their identity really matters. Now, let us tell you about our journey of creating Fama Lossi, our digital web tool to help support cultural identity, well-being, and overcoming the barriers of access. In the first week of business, we were brainstorming a solution to pronouncing our names correctly. At the same time, we discussed a comment heard in our corridors suggesting that Pacifica don't do technology. This inaccurate perception inspired our team to use a digital platform, our website. The biggest influence on poor student outcomes is the low expectations. We were more than capable enough of using technology and aspired to set higher expectations for ourselves. The lack of access to devices was one of our major barriers at school and at home. When there are plans for all exams to be digital by 2024, the impact will be on our peers and their ability to learn and gain creditations. If you have been fortunate enough to be surrounded by top-of-the-range devices that are more robust and of high specification, or even just devices that are at home and school in general, who will have the greater advantage? Despite our love reality of access, yes, there are always barriers, but what if Fatmalosi turn their barriers into opportunities? The resilience and mana passed on from generations gave us the strength to be advocates. We started off using our teacher's laptop, and it wasn't uncommon for quite a few of us to be surrounding this one laptop. <laughs> our business hub was soon successful in getting a grant. We bought three more devices to help with our business, and we were fortunate to win the laptop. It was great, as we could take these devices home but at the same time, we were worried in case these were damaged. We encountered another barrier during the summer holidays when we had to return the devices that we borrowed, as it was a, pro a problem to upload names on our website. Our solution was to rely on some of our team members who had their own personal devices. But did we have any idea on how to build a website though? <laughs> no. But it didn't stop us. We pushed through our barriers of not already having the skills to do this, and they have developed over time. Our whole community, our Aina family, was behind us to create this digital tool that helps all ages to get involved. Our digital tool that helps the well-being of our people. Last year, our vision slowly started to turn into a reality. Through our website, we were able to acknowledge Māori and Pacific names by encouraging people from New Zealand and all over the world to pronounce our names correctly. We now have over 1,400 subscribers from around the world. This influence has been far-reaching. Our people want to honor and reclaim their identity. We are ingraining equitable data, hardware and software to restore mana of our own Māori and Pacifica identities. Since then, we've received feedback from large corporations and schools and companies wanting annual license fees, book subscriptions, and to ensure every staff member is a part of the movement. This also gave an indication that our target market is varied, and the experience that started Fama Lossi is not just confined to the classroom. People are wanting to acknowledge Māori, our indigenous culture, and our Pacifica people, and this movement can influence all cultures. We are grateful to our Māori, Pacifica, and Pakia experts in our IT and business field, sharing their knowledge and time simply because they know the importance the legacy and mana our names carry. Ruben, Milan, Nick Rota, Sasha, Yolan, Labrini, our families, our family, Fafitai Lama. If we can't be valued for our names, identities, and narratives, how will we be given equitable spaces in the digital world? Fatma Alusi is a solution. It is more than a business. We are a movement reclaiming dignity and respect for our names. Our movement is far greater than just an access or cultural barrier. We, yes, we, are restoring our manna. Digital talk can be non-relational, so what we are doing is providing the process of accessibility and equity through the way that we are allowing one's identity to exist in the digital platform. We, alongside our people, have the knowledge of how our names should be pronounced and the knowledge of the history and manna that our names carry. We have developed a digital platform that gives our Indigenous community representation in the mainstream media. With the help of experts in our community, our Aina, our Fano, both young and elder, 
We have been able to gather valuable knowledge on our names, language, as well as culture. Our website and Farmalushi app will help you and will allow you to listen and learn and share. You can listen to the audios of names being pronounced. You can learn and practice names. You can contribute and upload names. Next up, we'll be adding Māori major city place names to our website and have collab collaborated with Akura to help place names be pronounced correctly. With this knowledge, we can create a platform that will help us educate a wider audience. We created our website using our knowledge of Māori and Pacifica to help society as a whole about the correct pronunciation and significance of our names and give value back to our names and all people. We have a Farmalosi app through the Apple Store and are in the process of releasing the app on Google Play. Through Farmalosi, we hope to make a significant start to addressing the nationwide issue for our communities. Our social, cultural and ethical goals are to protect the integrity of Māori and Pacific peoples, language and cultural identity by valuing our names passed on from our elders. Our community have been our greatest advocates and it was cool to see our parents and even our grandparents use the app. We helped our grandparents engage with the digital world where we were able to use the website on our phones. No doubt, the biggest impact of this journey has been meeting people who have a common story. When you talk to them, you can tell they are reflecting on their own personal stories and they are excited to hear a solution as they know how it feels. People from all cultures are acknowledging that our names are a part of who we are, that they are passed down with mana and with grace. The biggest impact for myself and those who have experienced a lack of respect given to their names is to be resolute in their mind. Be strong and pave a future for your whanau and future generation. To reclaim the value of your name. To my aima and the audience, I have the strength and resilience because of you. The importance of our names is to start to acknowledging who we are, where we are from, and the stories and legacy we carry. Predictively, we have started to make a small change to reclaim with pride the legacy of our identities. By starting with pronouncing names correctly, we work towards an inclusive society where we respect each other. We would like to give a big thanks to Spark for inviting us to share our stories. Thank you.